This anime, Aru Haru Ride. Alright, like, our plot is progressing a lot now. Cause we got a pretty good moment with both Gao and Futuba. And that's what I've been waiting for for a while now. And, you know, we got it. We fucking got it. And it looks like Gao might actually be falling for Futuba now. Even if he's not showing it with, you know, with blushing or anything. But I could tell after this, after this episode. His spark has ignited again. This is the beginning for him to start falling in love with her again. And with on top of that, we get some funny moments. We get, surprisingly, I did not expect this at all. And this is why I'm telling you, this reminds me of My Little Monster. Because we remember in My Little Monster, um, I forgot her name, but she was falling in love with that older guy. We got the same thing happening here, which I am enjoying a lot. We see Ma Murao. Murao? He actually has the heart for Tanaka. <laughs> and when I saw that, because you know, I first noticed when Tanaka um, went up to them in the lunchroom, and then when he was leaving, you saw a little glimpse of, Mur of Muro blushing, like bright, bright red, like a tomato red. And I was thinking, like, what? No! No! Really? What the fuck? Because honestly, I thought she was going to be falling for our other guy. For Aya, and I was like, really? Don't tell me. No, I do not want to see another typical um, secondary character just to be for comedic relief. I really don't want that for Aya. And, you know, I thought it was going to be Murao, but I guess not. But, you know, who knows? Who knows? Right now, anything could happen. Because, like I told you before, this is what I love about these romances, the drama. Like, you don't know what's going to fucking happen. Because I did not think Murao was going to actually be falling for Tanaka, the teacher. <laughs> But, yeah, honestly, I thought the teacher was going to actually be falling for Futuba for some reason. And the good thing is, Tanaka knows the boundaries between, you know, students and teachers. So, he's not going to be that, you know, that guy go, you know what? If she likes me, fuck it. Let's do it. No, he actually sets the boundaries down. Like, you know what? I'm your teacher. I can't be doing this. And this episode was pretty simple. We, you know, we just see that all five of our main characters went over to this camp to, you know, work on their student councils stuff to get better at it to be better at discussing to get better at organizing these events and they go to this camp this training camp i guess and the beginning was actually fucking funny really because it reminded me you know they said it you know fucking anime that instead of boyfriend girlfriend they act like a fucking married couple really they act like a married couple that's been married for what 40 fucking years because <laughs> the whole situation with them after having to go to the to the to the bus, get to the destination, they kept on fucking up, she got her luggage, and all that, that was just hilarious, that just reminded me, damn, these two belong together, <laughs> like, no fucking lie, and we finally could just see all five of them sit down together, and, you know, it was, it was a disaster, <laughs> I really thought they were gonna hit it up, like, really good, but I guess not everybody hates each other right now, and that's, that's what makes it even more funny, because, you know, they're sitting down, first off, I guess Muro gets mad, at Go, because Go is treating Tanaka badly because he came there late and Gao doesn't care. And then we see, and then we see Aya getting mad at Tanaka because Tanaka's talking bad about Murua. In the meantime, freaking Makita. And then we see this side from Makita, which I didn't even expect. And over a fucking cupcake, seriously. Okay, I actually get it. If someone took away my Oreo, I would, I would probably act the same way. But you look, Makita gets mad at fucking Aya because he took his muffin accidentally. Like, he didn't know it. She, he thought she was going to throw it away. He can't waste food. But yes, I guess Makita's not mad at her. So everyone hates each other right now. Typical Go and Futuba love-hate relationship. So, you know, everyone hates everybody. <laughs> and we get to see, you know, later on we see Murua and Tanaka. They're talking and, you know, Murua obviously likes him. She tries to, but you know, he sets the boundaries saying, no, we should not do this. And then, I mean, while that was happening, actually, Makita was like, eavesdropping on what was going on. Now, she knows about this, and I, and I believe she will tell either Go or Futuba about this. Because, you know, Futuba's her best friend, Go's home, Tanaka's brother, so he's going to tell somebody. She's going to tell somebody. And then the last part was actually the very, 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 very romantic part. Both Go and Futuba have this intimate talk. And honestly, when they turned their heads, I really thought they were going to actually, you know, maybe get close to a kiss. You know, maybe move in a little bit. Somebody was going to interrupt them. But no, they didn't. You know, Go turned around back. And I was like, really, Go? Really? And then he says something douchey <laughs> before he leaves, causing Futuba to be mad at him again. But he saves the day again doing, because you, know, you don't know about this. You don't know about this guy. He does one good thing, does two other bad things. And yeah, I guess 
people do, but like that. <laughs> but yeah, my goal is a sweet guy. Um, in the end, he kind of carries saves her from these other two perverts trying to hit on her. Um, we did get a lot of progression because I do believe this episode really did get Cow. Really did make Cow realize, you know what? I think I have feelings for Vidua. Because when they both turned their heads, man, he was surprised. Not because she saw her, because he realized, damn, she's hot. And I think I like her. Because looking for Duba, in the end she says she doesn't like him. She doesn't love him. That's bullshit. And yeah, man, these are just the obstacles you're gonna have to face together to realize, hey, we belong together. But yeah, that pretty much concludes our episode. I really did enjoy it. And for theories right now, man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I've been saying this my whole review. Because I tell you, Go has a bad boy demeanor, you know, like he doesn't give a fuck about anything. And for some reason, I could either see... Now I could see actually Mudawa falling for him. Or... Okay, Makira, I know for a fact. She's, she's gonna fall with one of those two. Aya or Go. But most likely, Go. Because she feels... She looks like that easily that falls in love kind of girl. Get me? Just by doing one little tiny thing. Mudawa has the same personality as fucking Go. They could actually, you know, make a good pair. Maybe they might fall for each other. Who knows? But I could see that happening too. Since they're gonna be spending a lot of time together. Then again, you know, Aya, Aya, he better not be left out of this shit. <laughs> Seriously, I'm tired of those secondary characters never getting somebody. 